Hi everyone! In one of my previous videos I drew some bluey characters as humans, specifically the children. But in this video I'm gonna be drawing some of the adult characters, because why not? I have not drawn most of them in a while. In part 1 I talked more about the show itself and why I like it, so I won't do that here. And the last thing I want to mention before we begin is that these are just my interpretations of these characters and it's okay if you see them differently. That's the fun part about simple characters like this. And now let's get into it. First up is gonna be Chili, the mom of Blue and Bingo. She's super sweet, talented, and fun. The episodes that focus on her are the most memorable to me, if not my favorite. For example, the baby race episodes where she feels insecure as a mother. The moment where Coco's mom cheers her up genuinely touches me no matter how many times I've seen it. Or the ending for that same episode. And don't even get me started on the dragon episode. <sighs> but anyway, design-wise I knew that I wanted to give these characters realistic or imperfect bodies. And for the moms, I wanted to add the consequences of pregnancy, I guess. For Chili, I tried to give her sort of a square body shape with a not very pronounced waist and overall thicker body. Of course, a lot of people can bounce back or go back to the body shape they had before pregnancy, but a lot of people don't, and that's okay. Plus, I find mom and dad bots fun to draw, and they add a lot of character, in my opinion. I gave her a shorter haircut because that's the vibe I got. I made her white for the same reason and added a lot of freckles all over her body. A lot of my design choices are based on vibes. And I forgot to mention it in the other video, but I give some of these characters 10 lines. So here's my chili design. I like it a lot and I didn't really change anything from my older drawings of her. Next, I just had to do Bandit. He's probably my favorite cartoon dad, no joke. He's so funny, caring, always goes with his children's bits and games, and he's just overall a great example of a husband and a father. Of course, I had to give him a good dad bot, plus he has mentioned either gaining weight or trying to lose it, I don't remember exactly, so this isn't just based on vibes. And it was a nice little practice for me because I actually haven't drawn a male body in a while. I made Bandit Aboriginal. I think everyone just kinda agrees on that. I don't think I've seen anyone draw him white. Nothing wrong with that though. I decided to keep his hair a little longer as a callback to his mullet. R.I.P. Like I mentioned in part 1, my main inspiration for the outfits were my childhood family vacations during summer break. So for Bandit, the vibe is supposed to be a dad on vacation. And I like how he turned out. It's exactly what I wanted. Then I moved on to Trixie, Muffins and Sox's mom. She doesn't appear that much in the show, but I still really like her. I tried to give her kind of a pear body shape with a heavier bottom half, and I wanted to make her pretty short. She has also mentioned wanting to lose weight, so she's gotta have at least some, you know what I mean? I made her white as well, but I also gave her a lot of moles to represent the spots in her design. And that's the vibe I got. Oh, I don't know how I haven't mentioned this yet, but I made my own font for this. Well, actually for the part one, but I forgot to mention it there. I like how my watermark looks with this font, but there's still some things I need to fix. If I get to that, I might film it and make a tutorial, because it's not that hard and it's cool to have a font with my handwriting that I can use instead of writing by hand. I don't know what else to say about Trixie, since, like I said, she doesn't appear much in the show. I didn't really change anything from my older drawings of her, besides making the body shape more how I pictured it. And I'm pleased with the end result.
Then I drew Trixie's husband Stripe, also Bandit's brother. He also doesn't appear much in the show, but he seems like a decent guy, I guess. He is the youngest in his family and I like how it comes up from time to time. For my design, I made him aboriginal, gave him a dad bod, of course, and just made him look pretty similar to Bandit, but to make him different enough, I made his eyebrows thicker, skin a little darker, a different haircut, and most importantly, I gave him the cartoon dad mustache, you know, the one that covers up the top lip. The style of his outfit is similar to Bandit as well, but I gave Stripe a Hawaiian shirt instead of a tank top and took the colors from his original design, of course. I always do that in my redesigns so the character can still be recognizable, at least by their colors. I'm pleased with this drawing as well. I did do some minor changes from the older design, but it's nothing too big. The only thing is his leg hair is not the same as Bandit's. I mean, on its own, I do like it, it's kind of stylized this way, but the fact that I drew it differently from Bandit's bothers me. Next, I decided to draw Brandy, Chili's sister. She has appeared in just one episode so far, but that episode is genuinely one of my favorites in the entire show. To summarize, Brandy visits Bluey's family for the first time in a while, and throughout the episode she is visibly upset or bothered by something. It's never said directly out loud, but she is heavily implied to be infertile. I've said this before, but I really like how the show handles more serious topics like this. It's very natural. Bluey also notices that something is off but doesn't understand what it is. She asks Chili about it and it's explained to Bluey and the viewers in simple terms just how you would explain something like this to a child in real life. Brandy wants to have children but can't and that seems to be the reason why she has not visited them in a while. God, when the episode focuses on the adults and their struggles, it just does something to me. I have seen people talk about how it would be cool if she adopts a kid and they can make, make an episode about adoption or something like that. Personally, I don't mind the idea, I just want my girl to be happy. But let's actually talk about the design. I have drawn Brandy a couple times before and I didn't really change anything about the design. I did struggle a bit on her body though, not sure why, but I like the end result. And the last but not least is Frisky, Louis' godmother. She's also more of a secondary character in the show, but I just really like her. I like her romance with Radley, Bandits and Stripes' brother. I didn't draw him for this video, but hopefully I will in the future. I struggled with Frisky's body a little bit, specifically I kept making her just too tall. I do see her being on a taller side, but if I were to put these characters on the same canvas, she would look like 2 meters tall. Other than that, the process was really fun for all of these drawings. Yeah, sorry, I don't really have anything else to say about Frisky. <laughs> and to clear this up right away, if you want to take inspiration from my designs or just draw my designs, feel free to do so, just credit me if the inspiration is pretty heavy or if you're directly using my designs. That's it. And that's all. I also just had to put the families together into one drawing and I'm so happy with these. I hope you like these designs too. If you have more headcanons, design ideas or maybe suggestions, you can share them in the comments. I love reading them. But this is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. You can like the video, subscribe, all these things. My other socials will be on the screen and in the description. Thank you again and bye!